Hi, it's Luke, and today we're going to be talking about the Wumble Pint versus the Wumble XR. And I really hope after this video, you're going to know which board is for you so you can start your Wumble journey. I hope you're going to enjoy this video and let's get started. So, let's first talk about the Wumble XR. The One Wheel XR has a 12 to 18 mile range. It can go up to 20 miles an hour, which is just incredible because this board is so cool and you can explore places like never before. Both the One Wheel Pine and the One Wheel XR use brushless hypercore motors, which gives them amazing acceleration and they're great fun on any terrain and can climb any hill that I've placed it at in the forest around me. I really do love the XR because of how rugged it looks. With the wooden foot pads, it just looks so cool. And especially with my Hoosier, flight fins treaded tire, which I must say is an absolute must. It's completely transformed my XR. This is also due to riding with a slick Vega doesn't always work well with the trails I ride all the time. And the flight fins Hoosier just gives me so much confidence and so much grip that it really makes me love this board. So now let's talk about the One Wall Pint. So the One Wall Pint is in a much smaller package than the One Wall XR and comes in at just under half the price of the XR. So it's a great board in my opinion if you want to start your one wheel journey like I did, getting the pint is a great way to enter this amazing community. And that's why I really do love my pint because it was my first one wheel and it's amazing. It has such a carvey tire. I can ride anywhere on it. It's so much fun. Amazing acceleration, amazing hill climbing. It's just the perfect board in my opinion. It just has a few things which I wish it had, which the XR has, which is why I now have both boards. So the one wheel pint costs 1,000 pounds and the one wheel XR costs 1,800, which like I just said, means it's a great way to start your one wheel journey. And the one wheel pint, unlike the XR, which can do 18 miles if it gets the best range possible, the pint at its best range gets eight miles, which is a real drawback in my opinion, because if you're trying to use this ball for commutes, that could be more of a hassle if you had to commute a longer way. But I still have to say it's a great board. I think it's really good for what it does and for its price range, and it really does go into a great market. But an XR is really made for those longer rides. I personally think that the Wumble Pint is better for a beginner because it has a harsher pushback, which means it's a lot less likely you're going to nosedive because you're going to notice the pushback way more than you do on an XR. And due to the top speed only being 16 miles an hour, not 20, you have a better chance of being able to run out if something did go wrong. Now, the Wumble Pint also has Simple Stop, which if you're a beginner, you might struggle with the traditional heel lift method for how you get off the board, so Simple Stop makes it easy for beginners, but as an advanced rider now, I love being able to go backwards because you can ride in many different ways, do 180s, and I really enjoy it. But as a beginner, I think the pint is more for you. To conclude, the Wumble Pint is great if you want to use it where you need to carry it in some sections of your commute because it has a mag handle which retracts when you don't need it, but it makes it so much easier to carry. You can buy them for the XR, but it comes as standard on a pint and the light bar will tell you how much charge you've got left so you don't need to check your phone. And I really do think the pint is perfect if you want to start your one wheel journey. So which board's for you? The one wheel XR is for the rider that wants to do big rides, crush trails, go for 18 miles. And I personally think if you want the range, this is the board for you. Now, if you want to start your one wheel journey, the pint with the mag handle is so great. If you're doing a shorter commute, I'd recommend it. And all the features it has, such as Simple Stop, will help you make your one wheel journey much easier to get into. So thank you for watching this video, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do let me know in the comments below, and you now know which board is for you. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.